Hello everyone, and welcome back to Hunting with Furio. Um, last time we were um, just going over the um, what the uh, the menus of the item box do and everything like that. So today we are going to be reviewing what the um, the menu, the start menu uh, things are. Uh, there are some things that I don't know what they do yet, so I will just fill you in on the ones that I do know. So starting off, we have the uh, the item pouch. Uh, this is where all your items go, obviously. Um, right now I don't have anything in it, so there's nothing to see. Um, the symbol next to it, it only indicates whether that's the um, the blade master or the gunner pouch. And you will be knowing that um, depending on what weapon you have equipped on you. Second one here is the uh, manual combination. Uh, you can uh, do combining by yourself uh, manually over here using two ingredients. Uh, third one here is the um, list combination. This one will give you a list of the uh, combinable items that you can do. Um, when you start off, it will be uh, on an order from a number order. Um, but if you press X on your um, on your controllers, it will go to um, it will sort out so you have the ones that are ready to be um, combined uh, first. Um, back in now we have the uh, hunter notes. On this one you don't have to worry about much because these are pretty much like manuals of the um, of what do things do, weapon manuals, of how to use them and all that. Um, but the top one here is uh, the monster list. Um, now in this game, unlike the um, original try for Wii, you actually had to buy the books for the monsters uh, in order to add the monster to the list. Um, and here we have the um, the hunter nuts, which I was telling you don't pay any attention at all. This is like all the information and all that. Uh, next up we have the actions menu. Uh, this one is the um, the actions that you char your character can perform. Um, you can just select them anyone. Um, the greeting, bow down. Uh, this one I think is noting. Yep, that's noting. Uh, this one is, uh, I remember what the name of that one is. We have wave, clap, um, this is the shear, this one should be point, yep, we got point. Um, then we have the uh, frustration, rant, uh, kickback, shadow box, um, then we had the uh, town. Then we have the um, I don't know what the name of this one is. Like a show off. Um, then we have prance. And lastly, we got dance. Uh, this one here is the uh, the game exit uh, option. This one you can get out of the game. And. Um, it will ask you to save once you uh, as you press it. Uh, the first uh, time that it asks you, it will be, do you really want to leave the game? The right is no, uh, left is yes. Uh, if you uh, press A on yes, it will ask you to save the game. And the same, the uh, right is on the uh, right is no and left is yes. Uh, the second tab we had quest, the status. This, this one will be displaying all the information for the active quest the time remaining, the objective and all that for you. Um, the status, this one will be displaying your uh, current uh, skills. On the top we have your character name right here. Uh, second one down here will be the uh, the weapon, what kind of weapon are you using. Then we have the, your uh, hunting rank. Now the hunting rank on try G, um, it got the best of both worlds if I may say so. Um, it got the this ranking system from the uh, previous portable games, but it also has the ranking system from Monster Hunter Tri G, where you, I mean Tri for the Wii, where you could rank up up to uh, HR 999, uh, which I like a lot better than having just to max out that HR 6 on like on portable third, and then Unite I think it was uh, HR 9. But um, the unlocking of the key quest for the uh, Monster Hunter Tri G works the same as Portable 3 Unite in the previous uh, Portable games that you only had to clear the key quest to unlock the um, the origin quest to go to the next rank 
Now, um, for every quest that you clear, you will receive um, uh, ranking points, but you won't be seeing those um, like a lot, or uh, you won't be uh, seeing uh, any progress on your rank. They will be pretty much building up in the background, so that when you clear uh, your last origin, your HR7 origin, which is uh, Grand Miralesu, um, you will uh, all those points uh, will rank you up. Um, depending on how many points uh, usually after you clear uh, Guramir also you jump off to HR 30 or something like that myself when I clear my uh, my first character I jumped off to HR 38 so next up we have um, on the bottom here we have your uh, money and uh, we have the um, the mother points um, these are basically your um, your resources points um, because you will be needing them to send the, uh, the fishing boats away and uh, also to uh, put your uh, cats or felons to, uh, to farm uh, to uh, grow up your uh, honey, um, herbs, mushrooms, whatever you want. Uh, now we have here, we have the, uh, the health, um, your health bar, um, I mean your health status, um, stamina, and oxygen. This bar wasn't present in uh, Portable Fur since there are the other games since there were no underwater hunts. Um, down here we have the uh, the attack of your weapon, your curing attack, um, and on the bottom we have the element attribute. Now if you see there are two slots for these. Um, the reason for that is that on um, Tri G the uh, double attribute uh, dual uh, swords they return like uh, Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. Um, the ones that are, the only ones that I've seen so far is the uh, Ginoga and Dark Ginoga um, Dual Swords, which is one um, is Thunder, the second one is Dragon Element. It's pretty cool, but I'm pretty sure there are other um, Dual Element weapons around there. Now on the bottom here we have your defense. Right now I'm only wearing uh, leather armor, so my defense is pretty much crap. Um, on the right side we have the, uh, the elemental resistances. Uh, we have fire, water. Eyes, uh, Thunder, and Dragon. Now, if you scroll to the next page, we have your uh, active skills on the left side, right here. Um, right now, I only have uh, Spirit Swim, uh, Speed Gathering, and Gathering Plus One. On the uh, the window at the bottom, we will um, give you the description of the uh, of the skill. But unless you can read Japanese, don't pay attention to it at all. Um, if you scroll up to the uh, third page, you will see your skill points to um, to what the um, active skills are, and this is pretty much like every monster hunter. Right here. Uh, next up, we have the equipment um, that will give you the information on your equipment. Uh, the second tab here will uh, give you a description of the weapon or whatever. Um, then it will uh, give you the active skills. Um, Fourth page will uh, tell you if it has any slots or jewels attached, and the last one will give you uh, the information of what jewels you have attached. And it's the same with the other, um, with the uh, other um, equipment pieces. Okay, then we have your uh, guild card. Uh, this one here, the top one will display your um, your own guild card. Um, right now I have a separate pirate J. Um, and here we have your current equipment, like what are you wearing, your rank, name on the left, and this is the list of quests that you have completed. Uh, this one here is village low rank, village high rank, guild low rank, guild high rank, guild G rank, and elder monsters. Um, this one is, I believe it's for food skills or something like that. Uh, but I am not sure how to uh, make that one progress. Okay, um, if you scroll to the next page, we have your weapon usage bar. It will pretty much track all the um, the weapon usages that you do for every quest. Third page, we have the um, the status of the. Um, this is will be pretty much like a historial of uh, what you do. Uh, like after every hunt, it will tell you uh, what monster you hunted, who did you hunt it with, uh, if you fainted, if you found any rare weapons or such. Uh, fourth page, we have the awards uh, screen. This one will be displaying all the awards that you get throughout the game, like um, the copper or silver coins that you get for completing the um, 
the uh, let's say that one two three stars quest um, beating Avatrion uh, gives you an award uh, beating Lagicus gives you an award and so on on page number five we have the monster hunting um, uh, list this is pretty much a track of how many monsters have you hunted every species uh, the one on the left on the right here will display you how much how monster have you hunted if you press Y, it will uh, display how many of that monster have you uh, captured. Um, this here uh, is the information for the smallest and largest um, that you ever hunted of that monster. And the one on the left, we have the monster name. Right now, it's displaying symbols because I don't have any uh, monster books, so it doesn't have the information available for you. Now, if you uh, hunt monsters and you don't buy the books, you will keep. Uh, you will get track of the uh, the distance, like the the size of the monster, and how many have you hunted and captured. But it will not display the name. So, and on page number six, we have the arena matches uh, information. Um, this one will keep track of your uh, arena matches. Um, on the left, you will have the selection of which quest, and on the right, you will, it will display the best time that you ran down, which what weapon, and with whom. Okay, now let's go back up. Second option here, this will be the um, the guild card editing. Um, it will let you edit your uh, guild card. Uh, the first three options here are for your title that you can set to whichever you want. Uh, you have a very large list of titles, but if you don't speak Japanese like me, I, I don't really mind. I just leave it be. Uh, this is the comment box. If you uh, click it, it will bring up the keyboard. So you can put your uh, custom uh, comment in there. Uh, then we have the pose for the character. Which pose do you want the character to be uh, uh, displaying? You can set whichever you want, whichever you prefer. It's all up to you. Um, and the last one that we have is the, uh, the background pose that you want for the card. Uh, the one that I have right now is a download um, download background. You can set whichever you want here. There are plenty to select from. I'll just leave mine to Pirate J because I, I like it. Okay. Now here we have the um, the Mother Village status. This one will be displaying your um, whether the. Uh, what are you farming? What are you uh, your hunt your uh, fishing boat doing? And uh, your current uh, mother points. And last one here we have the options menu of settings. Um, the top one here is the uh, the background volume, the background music. Um, second one is the uh, special effects music. I mean sounds for your uh, sword swings, explosions, and all that. Um, then we have the um, the cockpit or the HUD display. Uh, you can set it on and off in here. Uh, this is the map display on and off. Uh, the camera angle that you want to start off any quest. Um, you have like six settings of which angle you want it to start. I just have it for. Uh, now we have the camera um, movement uh, settings. Um, right now I have to I have it set to invert both Y and X axis so when I press up the camera goes down if I press left the camera goes right that's just a matter of likes um, but here let's see starts off here this is normal so if you press up the camera will go uh, will look up if you press left it will look left uh, this is um, y inverse it. So if you press up, it will look uh, down. If you press down, it will look up. Uh, but the um, side, uh, right, left to right, it will stay the same. Um, this one here, the third one, will be um, reverse it. Uh, left and right, the up and down will still be the same. And then it's reverse it both. Um, this is the um, the scope camera. If you want it to be normal when aiming with the um, with the scope and a gun. Um, you can set it to whichever you want, and this is the same uh, normal um, Y reverse or vertical reverse, uh, horizontal reverse, and both uh, horizontal and um, vertical reverse. Um, this is the um, 
this I believe is the uh, the quick scope or the quick aim for when you're doing the um, the quick aim with the bow or the um, the light ball gun, heavy ball gun, uh, and the same it, it will ask whether you want it reversed or you want it um, normal. Um, this here will be the um, underwater camera type, I believe. Let's see, it says um, gun. No, no, that's the uh, the gunners. Um, aiming uh, camera settings. It only has three settings. Um, so I am not entirely sure what they do each of them. So I'll just I'll just disappoint you there and leave you like that. This one is, is the same. I have no idea what it does. Uh, start menu button. Uh, this is asking you what you want the start menu to do, the start button to do. Right now it's set to um, to deep to bring up the the start menu. But if you click it right, it will uh, set it up for uh, kick. So whether you press the start or select in your 3DS, it will do the kick or bring up the menu. Um, now we have the slide pad settings. If you want to set up the slide pad, um, let's see. Uh, left pattern. Oh my bad. This is the actually the auto tracking camera. Um, for the um, the new feature that the uh, Monster Hunter Tri-G has that you can set the, the uh, camera to target the, uh, the monster every time on number one if you click uh, the uh, L button one time it will center the camera to the monster if you press it twice it will actually it will have it will center to the monster but if you press it once it will not on number two so it's like that uh, this is the camera speed over here um, this is the slide pad if you want to be you, uh, the settings for the slide pad. Uh, this is pretty much just the uh, the extra three buttons that you get, the extra two buttons that you get, the LC and the RC. And this one here I have no idea what it is so I'll just let you down on that. And uh, that basically concludes the, uh, the navigation to the menus. And thanks for watching, see you next time.